subscribe now. EU debates. This is an historic day, and every country has such historic days in its uh, in its history. That's why when going into this building before the beginning of the first intergovernmental conference, I said. I, I, at, at, the, at the intergovernmental conference, I mentioned other such moments. North Macedonia and Macedonia before that has had great historic decisions made in the times of Kiro Gligorov, in the times of Nikola Klusev, in the time of Branko Crvenkovski. We have made historic decisions in the times of Boris Trykovsky. A great historic decision was made by the government of Zoran Zaev, and the country moved forward. That is why we are today a democratic society which respects the democratic rights of each citizen, regardless of their, uh, of their uh, heritage. Uh, that is why we are today members of NATO. We are safe in these uncertain times of war in Europe. We are safe members of the largest defense alliance in the world. This decision is a historic one because the country moves forward towards achieving its second strategic objective, which is membership to the EU. And this is a decision which was confirmed by Parliament with a majority, with a large majority of uh, votes, which included parties uh, in government, but also parties from opposition, in opposition. We've heard many statements in parliament. We heard uh, words which uh, should not be uttered by members of parliament from the uh, opposition, but the majority of citizens represented by their members of parliament adopted the made the decision, thanks to which today we have the first intergovernmental conference. And after the end of this press conference, the Deputy Prime Minister for European Affairs and the team from our government will start the screening process with the holding of the first screening meeting. It is uh, on the MPs of the opposition it is their responsibility to continue participating in this debate. You said this is the first step. There will be many future steps uh, until final uh, membership, full membership to the EU. That's correct. The parliament made the first step. And the parliament is the venue where we will need to make the second and the third and the fourth step until final full membership of the Republic of North Macedonia to the European Union. It's the responsibility of each politician to think about the future of the country and the future of, uh, of, of future generations. A politician may not think only about their personal uh, reputation and their political careers. And I said in my address, we were led by the future uh, in order to make a good decision for the future of the country, to make a decision which will enable will create a future, a prosperous future for all citizens of our country. And I believe that all MPs in the Parliament of the Republic of North Macedonia will be, uh, will rise to the occasion, will be responsible and will serve their citizens. Because today, all the manipulation, all the speculations, all the untruths were dismantled. Together, the Republic of North Macedonia held the first intergovernmental conference. I spoke in Macedonian. The Vice President of the European Union said that our identity will be stronger in the European Union. I'm holding a press conference in Macedonia. Today, at the first intergovernmental conference, all member states welcomed our first step towards full membership to the EU. It's the responsibility of all politicians in the country to support this uh, road forward, because that's the only road for the Republic of North Macedonia towards building a more successful, a more democratic and prosperous future. We have no other alternative. Thank you. Thank you, Prime Minister.